Hey, welcome back, everybody. Jeff Frick here with the Cube. We're at San Francisco International at Gate 54B. If you want to stop by and say hello, we're here for Alaska's Elevated Flight Experience launch. It's it's really an interesting opportunity. Alaska took advantage of the of the purchase of Virgin to kind of rethink the brand, rethink the branding of the planes, and add a bunch of new amenities. This is the one that you're going to care about more than any of the others, and we're really excited to have the founder and CEO of Salt and Straw the Ice Cream, yeah. Kim Malik. Kim, Hi. great to meet you. Thank you. I'm a huge fan. Aww, I don't I know how many that. hours I've stood in line and burned <laughs> waiting to get into your uh, to your restaurant in Portland. Aww, thank you so much. So for folks that haven't stood in line for their Salt and Straw, give us a quick update on, oh. on Salt and Straw who you guys are all, what are you yeah, all about? Yeah, so we started actually in 2011 as a little push cart, which is a big deal in Portland. Um, and we've grown now to 19 shops up and down the West Coast. We make all of our ice cream in five gallon batches. So we say we're the smallest, or we're the largest small batch ice cream company in the world. And um, we're excited to have this new partnership with Alaska. Right, so I don't know kind of what the official industry categories are, but you would <laughs> certainly be like in the super rich premium uh, category, <laughs> right? Really, really rich ingredients, fresh ingredients, yeah. crazy so flavors. Each city that we operate in, we make a different menu. So it reflects that city's local flavors, what's going on with the food scene, and we make everything in house. So whether it's a brownie or um, rendering bone marrow or making gummy bears ourselves it's all made in house with great great care and love i'm just curious if you have a feel for what you know what is the formula f for your success right it's it's ice cream there's a lot of ice cream choices of course ferrell's was one of my favorite back oh, in portland they don't have it anymore yeah. get the zoo um <laughs> but what are some of the secrets to have you know quote unquote a commodity product if you will it's ice cream but to build such a passionate following oh. and really have people that are so connected to the product and the brand yeah, well, we feel so fortunate to have this loyal following. And I think it's really, you know, we invest a lot in earning people's business and earning that attention. And so, like I said, we have a different menu in every city that we operate in. We change our menu every four weeks. So it's reflective of what's happening locally and seasonally. And then when you come into our store, we try to offer a pretty special experience. So from the store design to the way we take care of people, they can sample through the whole menu. I was just at one of our stores and a customer said, this is like a wine tasting. I mean, I'm tasting all these flavors, hearing the stories behind how they were made and the collaborations that went into it. So um, we pack a lot into the experience. Right, so and it's interesting that we're here at Alaska because Ben in the opening talked about really the culture yeah. and about people because a seat mile, it's just kind of the same thing. A seat mile is a seat mile. So how yep. do you differentiate your product and your offering? And he talked about values yeah. and wanting to work with companies that reflect the similar values. You're here, so tell well, the people why are you here at the Alaska event? I love that he talked about values. I noticed that as well. And you know, I think that's definitely one thing that we share is a care for the people first and foremost. I mean, we scoop ice cream, but you know, we offer people um, I think four days of training before they show up to actually start scooping ice cream and that's all about you know how to create connections with people um, how to um, have a really special experience when someone is standing in front of you and how to connect so you know we invest a lot in our team and I think that really shines through in the way that they take care of customers and I definitely see that when I fly with Alaska Airlines and it was one of the reasons I was so excited to be able to partner with them right so we got to tell the people so you can now get yeah. salt and straw on Alaska Airlines. That's right. <laughs> so not for just for a couple months now, we've been offering um, a little single serve container that we actually developed in conjunction with Alaska Airlines. So they helped us design the packaging so that it would really fit with the experience that they were offering. And then we launched it um, on in, in the air. And we don't really sell ice cream outside of our stores very much. So it was a really big deal to work with them on this project. Yeah, and I would imagine in terms of the packaging and, and the experience, you're so dialed into that that's such a part of your brand that you probably had a lot of I'd, I'd imagine initial concerns about making sure that was consistent with the brand that you guys represent yeah definitely I mean we had a lot of conversations about how they were gonna handle the product how they were gonna educate their team about the ice cream so they'd be communicating it with the people who were flying and and they were of course there in spades and um, it was a really easy conversation to have all right well Kim thanks for thanks for the ice cream Aww, earlier thank you and uh, and thanks for taking a few minutes Congratulations. 
congratulations and uh, safe flying back to Portland. Awesome. All I right. appreciate being here. Thank you. You're welcome. She's Kim. I'm Jeff. You're watching The Cube. We're at San Francisco Gate 54B at the uh, uh, Alaska Airlines Better Experience. Thanks for watching.